Hi y'all, Renee here. I am here today to do an unboxing of the December So Sampler. Yes, you heard me right, December. They had a, I believe, a supplier issue and so all the boxes were delayed. So let's take a look and see if it was worth the wait. So the theme is Winter Flea Market. I like the theme, sounds like a cool theme. We'll put that off to the side. We got that got our little card that tells us about everything that's in the box, including the value and all of that good stuff. Oh, and I forgot to look and see what the, oh, pretty good coupon. The coupon is free shipping for everything over $25. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so let's take a look. The first thing is Stay Sharp. It's a magnetic needle case from It's So Emma. And the value on that is $8.98. It says So Sampler got it first, so that probably means that um, they're going to have it in the shop. And it looks like there are three different prints you can get. Um, I got the Stay Sharp. There's also Need, need Little Needle Little Love and Get to the Point. I think I like Needle Little Love the best, but it's okay. Okay, so how does this open? Looks like it has a little, you have to be smarter than the needle box. There we go. Okay, so it's just a, um, a box with a magnet in it. There's no actual needles in it, but you know what? That's okay, because everyone likes their own kind of needles. So that way you can fill it with your own needles. And it's actually, it's pretty heavy. It's, it's pretty hefty. So there's that, the needle box. And I think I told you value is $8.98. Um, it feels like it would be pretty, uh, pretty good on the magnetic part. It's real heavy. So, um, I think it's going to hold pretty good. So we'll see. And let's take a look at the fabric. It's Riley Blake fabric. Let's get this open. Oh, I need scissors. And while I'm scissoring it, the value on this is $18.98. Um, it does say that this is a sew sampler exclusive, so it's a 10 inch stacker uh, with their favorites from the collection. So my guess is you can get the collection, but you wouldn't be able to get this exact um, roll of 10 inch cuts outside of the sew sampler. So let's go ahead and take this off and we'll take a look at all the different fabrics. Man. That's a good knot. Whoever tied that, tie a good knot. Okay, so we'll take a look at the fabrics. I like them already, so we'll just flip through. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I love that. And there, we got a couple of the colorways on that. That's really nice. I really like that one. And an orange dot, a yellow dot. That reminds me of uh, St. Patrick's Day. Looks like little clovers. Oh, pretty, pretty. That one's okay. Some more of those. Oh, those are some little tulips. Another little hatch. And a blue. That's really cute. I like that one. And a blue one in that same design. And, that, and this tealy color. So I really like the colors in this. And then it looks like we also got two, um, I think they're Orophil. Are they Aurifil? Let's find out. Yep, they're Aurifil. Light Salmon and Spun Gold. The value on these is $9.96. These are 50 weight. Aurifil threads. Always good to get thread. Then let's see what else we got. We got a Sparkle Star Quilt Block Foundation Paper. Uh, value on this is $7.98. It's also available in 12 inch pads. So these are the six, the six inch blocks. So they're six and a half inch unfinished. And um, this is what they look like. So, yeah, that looks nice. So it'll be, be fun to use those. Okay, and then let's see what our pattern is. Our pattern is, oh good, it's a table runner. That's an interesting pattern. I guess you make it with this. Hmm. It's a very interesting pattern. I, I have to tell you, I'm not sure what I think of it. It's called Twinkle Toes. And let's see what you need. 
So you need um, your 10 inch stacker that comes in the box. You also need one and a half yards of background. They use the one that look like a book, like uh, all kinds of different uh, antique, like, let me see if I can get it up there so you can see it. There you go. You can see that antique ads and other things. And then um, a half yard of binding of uh, Daisy, I guess from the same, the same uh, collection. And then one and a half yards for the backing. So there's that, and that does use the foundation paper. And then let's take a look at the album quilt block. And the album quilt block this time looks like that. So kind of a cute block. Here we go, we'll get that in there. Kind of a cute block. And then that's block number nine out of the Greatest Hits album quilt. So. All in all, um, let's see, the, I told you the foundation paper is $7.98. Um, this pattern is valued at $9.98, and this is valued at $4.98. I don't think you can buy these quite yet, but I think you'll be able to buy them after the year is over for this particular sew sampler. Um, but check out that quarter's website. I don't know, I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't really know all the, all the ins and outs. Um, but overall, I think it was a good, it was a good box. Um, I'm not 100% sold yet on this. Um, I may put together a couple of these blocks um, using my own kind of idea and see how it turns out. Because I think it's cool with these four corners being something different. But it doesn't look like that's how they put them together. See, like these middle ones have the four corners that are different. But then it looks like they use the same fabric for the four corners there. And I think it would just look, I don't know, I think it would look more interesting to have the other, the background showing more than it is but we'll give it a try and see what I think um that's the good thing about foundation paper um you just use bits and pieces of your of your fabric you're not actually cutting up everything and then later on you go like oh well, I didn't really like that but I already cut up all my fabric so so there is the sew sampler for December if you got one leave me a comment down below let me think let, let me know what you think of it um it's not my favorite um but I do like getting the threads I think the, the needle, the magnetic needle box is really cool. Um, I love doing um, foundation piecing. So I'll, I'll, I'm, have, I'm excited to try these papers and see how it, how it looks. Sometimes when you make these, they look a lot better than they do in the picture. So um, we will see how it comes out. Well, I have, thank you for stopping by and watching me today. And I hope you're having a great day. And if you have any questions or anything, just check out down below. Leave me a message. I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, also, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. One of my goals for 2021 is to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm a little over 600 right now, so I think it's doable. I really want to try. Um, so if you want to help me out in my endeavor, just hit subscribe. It's free. They don't charge you anything. And if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video, hit the bell and it'll send you a little message and let you know. Um, so otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.